If you look at what we have in the Fourth through the Eighth Amendments of the U.S. Constitution, we call those the Due Process Clauses. This is where you get the right to trial by jury. You get the right to confront your accusers. You get the right to compel witnesses in your own behalf. You get the right to speak in your own defense. There's about a dozen rights listed in, in the Due Process Clauses. If you practice federal law, there's what's called federal practice procedures. It's a set of law books that goes from here to the wall over there. If you pull out volume 30 of federal practice and procedure, which is on, on the due process clauses, there's 20 pages in there showing historically how that every single right in the due process clauses came directly out of the Bible. The right to confront your accuser is John 8.10. The right to compel witnesses in your behalf is Proverbs 18.17. The right to speak in your own defense is Acts 22, 1, and et cetera. Bible shaped our due process clauses. No, we thought the Constitution shaped it. No, they quoted the Bible in the Constitution. That's where we got those rights. They understood it. They were Bible scholars back in that time, even as political people. Every, every citizen was a Bible scholar.